Spoiler alert, the penultimate episode of House of the Dragon Season 2 has a lot of new material to analyze and offers surprises for both TV viewers and book readers. The Blacks and Greens responded to the pivotal Battle of Rook's Rest, in which Rhaenys Targaryen was slain and King Aegon II Targaryen suffered severe injuries. In Episodes 5 and 6, this resulted in a loss of stability at King's Landing for both sides, with the Blacks losing a dragon rider and the Greens losing their figurehead. Rhaenyra and Jace devised a plan in Season 2, Episode 5, to produce new dragon riders and allow people descended from Valerians to claim the riderless dragons on Dragonstone. We have two large enough to stand against Vega. They are called Vermithor and Silverwing. Hugh and Wolf, two new cast members of House of the Dragon, were transported to Dragonstone in Episode 7 in order to participate in an event known as the Sowing of the Seeds, which offered them the chance to transform their lives. The result was explosive, violent, and unclear, with many things happening in the episode's climax that were not made clear. <laughs> Welcome to Movie Spy. Why Beggar is turned away from Dragonstone by Aemon. Aemon knows he is going to be in danger in Dragonstone. A dragon that is seen soaring across King's Landing interrupts Aemon's brief council meeting in the Season 2 Episode 7 finale. Since it is a dragon Aemon is unfamiliar with, he gallops off to fetch his dragon, Beggar, who has been recovering after the Battle of Rook's Rest. He saddles up on Beggar and chases after Wolf's unidentified dragon. Following the dragon across Blackwater Bay, Aemon tells Beggar to turn around and flee after coming to a stop just short of Dragonstone. Aemon is perplexed by the circumstances and initially gives chase to find out more information after spotting an unusual dragon with an unexpected rider. However, he is aware that the Blacks have at least three additional dragons nearby, Syrax, Vermax, and Mundenser, so pursuing them into enemy territory would be extremely dangerous. Even though Beggar is the largest dragon in House of the Dragon, Aemon understands that dragons are not unbreakable and that he should not engage in combat with them. The Blacks essentially gave Aemon a heads up by firing a warning shot. Who is the dragon wolf? Rides and claims. The dragon Silverwing was wolf's. The enormous dragon Vermithor becomes furious during the sowing of the seeds and starts setting the different dragon seeds on fire. Wolf is thrown down into Dragonstone's caverns during the battle, but he escapes by rushing through the tunnels and attempting to find a way out. Wolf believes he is secure now that daylight has returned, but he unintentionally enters Silverwing's den, another dragon. Despite the fact that he appears to be stomping on an egg, the enormous gray dragon quickly grows fond of him, and Wolf claims her. There are other dragons besides Vermithor that have lain low on Dragonstone for a while. Silverwing has been without a rider for many years, having been ridden by Queen Alisande before King Jaehaerys Eye of Targaryen rode Vermithor. Given its reputation for being more submissive, Wolf can understand Silverwing's friendliness, she is not known for her fighting prowess, but she is big and old enough to be dangerous. Similar to their former king and queen riders, Vermithor and Silverwang share an uncommon bond. Why did Vermithor pick Hugh to be his new riding partner? Vermithor was impressed by Hugh's tenacity and strength. Known for being ridden by King Jaehaerys, Vermithor, also known as the Bronze Fury, is one of the biggest and most powerful dragons in Game of Thrones history. It's the largest in the world after Vega. One of the greatest Targaryen king, Jaehaerys, is renowned for having the longest period of comparatively calm rule over the realm. Still, Vermithor had plenty of room to develop because of short-lived wars and a ton of flying and exploring experience throughout the Seven Kingdoms, including the Wall and the North. That being said, it makes sense that Vermithor would select a rider who embodies courage and strength. Hugh shouts out to the dragon, declaring that he is prepared to die, and in doing so, he saves another dragon seed. I'm ready. Hugh's courage and tenacity are respected by Vermithor. Robbers who would accept strong dragons are usually preferred, and Vermithor's last rider was one of the most revered men the Seven Kingdoms have ever seen. In the most dramatic part of the show, the dragon, who has a high standard, judges Hugh based on his strength. Number of dragons now held by the Blacks. Dragon riders, seven are among the Blacks. After Season 2, Episode 7, Rhaenyra seems to have the better of luck as she has gathered a sizable cast of dragon riders. The Blacks have multiple dragons, while Aegon and Sunfire are still recovering, leaving the Greens with just Beggar. They previously had Bela's Mundenser, Jacarys's Vermax, and Rhaenyra's Syrax, none of whom are very big or skilled. 
Despite spending most of Season 2 as a rogue, Demon and Carexes are still on their side, and his story suggests he will soon be joining them again. The Blacks now have seven dragons ready for battle, compared to the Greens one, thanks to the addition of three new dragon riders. Wolf on Silverwang, Hugh on Vermithor, and Adam on Seasmoke. Even though Beggar is the largest dragon in the realm, Rhaenyra's team is too strong for it to defeat. Therefore, the time is probably not far off for her to attack King's Landing. Who is Tessarion, and why is it vital that he be taken to wing? Tessarion is the dragon of Prince Darren. Actually, Alicent Hightower and King Viserys I Targaryen have one more son besides Aegon II, Aemon, and Helena. Although he has not been seen on film, Daron Targaryen is a character in House of the Dragon who has been mentioned throughout Season 2. Dialogue claims that he was raised apart from his brothers at Old Town, the home of House Hightower. Notably, Tessarion, his dragon, is a dragon rider as well, as revealed in Episode 7. Having one additional dragon will not make a big impact against the seven dragons the Blacks have amassed, especially considering Tessarion's youth and inexperience. The implication that Daron will probably make an appearance at the beginning of House of the Dragon Season 3, and that the Greens are not completely out of it comes from the statement that Tessarion has just taken to wing. Regardless of how the forthcoming Season 2 finale turns out, they still have the Hightower army on the road, and the conflict is far from over.